why you do not want to use uh, event emitter for any asynchronous operation, okay? Now, let me show you, because I think it's actually very important to show you the code when you do those kind of things, okay? So let's 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 do that, and and let's 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 take a look at the code, okay? So uh, uh, make cd tmp make dear uh, event um, uh, uh, e event async, okay? So here is we here we go. We have event async, and let's um, I npm init. Yay! Then I want package JSON type module. I want to use ESM. Cool. Um, so here e um, event dot JS. Okay. So what we want, we can get an event emitter. So event emitter from node test. Ooh. And then you have your event emitter and you have event on test and you do console log test event and then event emit test. So you run, we run this. Oh, it doesn't. Oh yeah, not the test, events, event, here we go, events. Okay, great. Uh, uh, so here we go, a node test event. And um, so we have with this, um, why you cannot use an async, um, uh, why making this async is not, is problematic. Okay, so this is seems, seems okay, right? I, I run it, it's, it's totally okay. Now there is a big difference here. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's move it and make it throw new error, test error. Okay, you see this is crashing as you would expect, but you can always do that. Okay, so you do that and you have caught the error. So technically you can manage and handle errors that happen within your uh, asynchronous, uh, with your synchronous uh, event handler, because emit is actually fully sync. Um, but, it is a but, uh, what happens if there is an error here? There is, if this is a sync. Now I cannot handle this anymore. And there is absolutely no way you can handle this manually. Now I added a flag uh, myself a few times, a long time, a few a few times ago, called capture rejections that you could put in here, that uh, will actually enable you to do that and get the error as inside. this and now you can handle them and and because it's capture rejections you can get capture them and so on however um it's not, this flag is not enabled in 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 almost anywhere and i'm not convinced it's like i would not rely on it okay i don't think it's a good pattern so don't necessarily do it let's go let's talk to the second reason this is the first reader error handling it's tricky it's a tricky business the second reason which why it's very hard to with it's it's not recommended okay it's it's like that okay so let's say that we have console log okay and in here you get a buff uh, of uh, 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 new buffer a buffer a lock of okay one kilobyte let's do let's do a few megabytes okay one kilobyte times one megabyte times one gigabyte okay pretty big thing 
Okay. And these and return this for whatever reason. Allocates value and this is um is there. Okay. Now what happens if I uh, I run these a hundred times? Mm, well, yes, nothing. Why nothing? Let me add a few more. Oh. Uh, okay, let's do that. Import. Um, set timeout as sleep. Here we go. Hi, Josh. How are you doing? We are doing a little bit of um, experiment on event handling, asynchronous event handling and showing the problems that these arise that you can erase that you can have so a so you see this is running i've actually scheduled a lot of things that should wait for one second and this is now spinning like there is you know it's crazy at 200 percent and it's having a lot of time a lot of problems here um uh getting things uh uh completing okay why well because it has allocated a lot of promises okay and uh, you have no absolute no control when this is done so yes sorry not correct Yes. Okay. Now you see the problem here. This is absolutely, it's done almost immediately. So it's the execution of this completes, but the process is not, and it's spinning forever, essentially. Totally completing its promises, its stuff. It's completely running like there is no tomorrow at this point in time. And this is essentially the reason why it's it's problematic. Okay, so yes, I have 64 gig of RAM of this machine. So it's, um, I use 32.7 mostly, 32.6, something like that. Anyway, the, I hope this is clear on the problems, on, on the reason. There is no way to control the concurrency or anything um, when using asynchronous uh, um, uh, hi, I, 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 Josh. If it, it's only one node, how much RAM could it take? Yeah, quite a lot. Like it has currently, it has allocated like three hundred and ninety-seven gigabyte, and it still keep growing of virtual RAM. This process, so I don't know when it will end. So right now, it, it's basically it's fake memory. It has four gigabytes, uh, for almost four hundred gigabytes of fake memory. So, so much fun. Okay, anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, so, okay, I hope this is clear on this problem, okay? Now, uh, the this is pins forever, okay? Now, let's try to, to do, let's install a module here that I wrote that allows you to better control this stuff. It's called FastQ. So, and I am... Um, you can... Okay, let's... Copy this and call QJS. Okay, so here uh, you have, let's use for example, so this is a uh, uh, fast queue and let's use fast queue uh, as, as, as the topic. So instead of that, we have the queue and we have the, 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 oh, fast queue. Oh, sorry, let's take a look at the uh, um, GitHub and Colina. FastQ. Oh, by the way, if you think FastQ is just a small utility that I've never, that nobody uses, then it's it's a thing downloaded like I think I have 5.8 million times a day, like 30 million times a month, something like that. Okay, this is little utility here, FastQ. 
So um, it is the promise API. Okay. So I want fast queue, fast queue promise. Okay. We have the task and we do the exact same. Okay. But we can specify the number of things that happens in parallel. Okay. So now what you can do, it's here, it's queue. Q and push. Okay, I, I don't need an argument to be honest. Okay, I can push the stuff. And now what I can do though, which is actually the interesting part, is I can promises, where is it? Yes. I can do await queue drained which will wait for all the tasks to be completed and you know i could for example do a set interval here that prints um well i don't care so here when when it runs i could you know, um, console log the uh, Q dot length. So we see what's going on. Okay. And now I can, oh, sorry, node Q. And now you can see this is starting to print them. And now you can control the parallelism. And as you can see, this is actually the, the resources of my computer are actually managed better now this thing that we see running is, is obs so it's, it's it's not that that stuff is, is, is obs so now this is going well so maybe i can try to raise my parallelism to 100 and this still allows me to control the stuff in a much much better way that does not saturate my application okay and uh, it's still running at a a, a hundred percent of cpu whatever but now it's better controlled okay i can do things here because i uh, because i have this this information okay uh now you can you might want to ask um so the, the um, this does not use worker thread beneath the be, be, beside be, behind it this is literally just uh, uh for in process queuing okay now if you need a, a, a um same concept but uh, uh, for um, the same concept but for PubSub there is this concept called MQ emitter which essentially does what it says on the tin it's the same logic it's a very similar logic to what you would get from emitter um, that you will get from the event emitter but it's powered by a queue inside it Okay, so literally you can, um, it has a slightly different syntax and it's all callback based because to be honest, this was written by me a long time ago, even before promises made any, made a splash. Okay, so, and yeah, it's downloaded. It's, it's actually relatively powerful. And how do you use this? So let's, let's go back to my event and you can, um event um uh, e uh do, 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 mq emitter dot js uh so e uh, emitter mq dot js yes okay okay this one we can save it okay them. So here we have this. Um, now let's take the MQ from MQ emitter. And here instead we do MQ, we create our MQ. Oh, sorry. And it's called a bus. So it's, 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 our, it's our, this thing. And on our bus, uh, what we do, we can pick the concurrency. So we can say concurrency, a thousand concurrent. Let's put a hundred concurrent. 
and then you can do bus on test and then here you need to specify a topic test and these use objects for the things so you need to do that and then what you can do here you can away so here this returns a callback okay so you can you here you will have you will have a callback and um these includes all the things though and uh, let's see how it's how you can monitor the state of the internal queue there should be something here so that you can get it done well you could say for example uh, uh, let promises okay and here you can do um, promises push and new ooh, let's do that so const promise ooh. const promise new promise resolve reject and here and you do uh yeah that, that that we don't care and this is this is promise this is bus and here we do promises push promise and then await promise all promises and now we can go in and we can do Okay, and now we can do node MQ. And as you, you can see here, uh, what they are happening. And again, the concurrency is managed. So it's, uh, yeah, oh, sorry. That is, haha, I made a tiny bug somewhere here because this is not a sync. This is still RCB. Sorry. And this is very old code as I am as I'm afraid. So a sync function process. Yes. Here we open up a function and we do data CB. So oh to, to, to run and we call it run yes so we reset the queue essentially and now you see it's running forever and ever now if you remove lower down the concurrency here let's put it at five you will see that it does five very quickly it stops does five and does more so this is actually a, a very good way this is very performant okay this mq emitter is actually very performant and it's at the basics of a lot of other things that i do there's a few backends so you can use redis and mongodb if you want to and uh, um, error spike for whatever reason i at some point i want to do one for postgres and possibly create maybe a promises uh, a pattern on top so because i think this is you know people would, would want to promise